Mkozi chiriba chobe hata mwiswahili. Ah, kiswahili ya kipande gani? Naenda kuua wewe. Haya sasa. Wewe stomolo. Ah, kiswahili kidogo. I don't know too much. Anza hicho hicho kidogo. Speak English. Thanks. Mix. Tell us the operation about the team. Ah, Tanzania people, I'm ready the killing machine. This is the time I've got a chance on Rising Star to have a fight. So I'm going to show you this is the time killing machine vs Vinakata Kabisa. What do you prepare for your opening? I'm prepared. It's a war for me. I'm a killing machine. Killing machine. Do you know killing machine? Killing machine can kill everything. Gonna kill that wolf tomorrow. You stay wolf. Be there on Swahili Freaks and watch the fight because killing machine is ready. This is in Akata. My Ugandan people. Keka na kase lebi sobi sara. Ebi sobi sara wana emwe na mubereko. Muagiro mukono. Kwanza keka na kase atu bono mzungu. Beba na ba siba ne mandela. Babu sungu bweni na ba siba mandela. Keka se atu barabi se. Kwanza ebi sobi sara. Vese vena kata. In our language, ebi sobi sara. Ebi sobi sara. Vese vena kata. Tanzania people, mimi naenda kul. Kuwa we we kabisa kuwa 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 Chris tomorrow visa vina kata killing machine kabisa visa visa la come from Uganda if you want to know more of visa vina kata you know you come tomorrow and you watch the fight you will see visa vina kata who do you have any message to do Lambaba after to lose his fight? I have just I wish you luck, everyone who's gonna fight tomorrow. My all the boxers, I wish you success. So I'm telling for me killing machine, I'm ready to rumble. This is Vinakata. So hold all of these. You wanna talk this? Yeah, Aida. Oh. Sure. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. I can't hold all of those. <laughs> okay. to the camera. Tell us uh, your preparation about the next fight to your fans. Well, you know, uh, preparation went well. Uh, obviously, we were preparing in South Africa. Um, I've had quite a nice, long, decent camp. Uh, I've fought uh, three times already this year. This is my fourth fight this year. I actually fought uh, about two and a half weeks ago. So, you know, uh, I'm used to being in the ring. I'm used to preparing. I've been sparring quite a bit. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to fight quite a nice, tall guy. It makes it easy for me to hit the body. also makes it easy for me to counter him. And, uh, you know, preparations went well, and I'm ready for tomorrow evening. To be honest, I love the people the most. You know, the Tanzanian people are amazing people, friendly people, welcoming people, and uh, they love boxing, which is the most important thing. And uh, they've hosted us extremely well here in Tanzania. So, you know, I'm glad to be back here. Um, I fought here, and I will be back again uh, on the 26th of November. And uh, I'll be happy to be fighting here again. You know, I would like to uh, fight quite often in Tanzania. I love it here. I, I love the Onoma Hotel. I love what the Tanzanian people do for boxing. And uh, I love their admiration for the game and for the sport of boxing. You said that uh, people from there, they love uh, boxing. Yes. Um, you know, to be honest with you, uh, boxing is bigger in Tanzania than it is in South Africa. You know, obviously, sport and the structure of sport is bigger in uh, South Africa. But you know, the boxing scene is uh, bigger here. The people love uh, boxing more than what they do back home, and uh, that's why we found ourselves here for the third time, and we'll find ourselves here for the fourth time uh, at the end of the year. Uh, Tanzanian people are hard people. At the, you know, they love the fight business. Uh, to my fans back in South Africa, my fans in Tanzania, you know, guys, uh, I just thank you for all your support, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the fight. It's going to be a good one. I'm going to hurt Kiwanaka, and uh, he doesn't know what's coming for him. I appreciate the support, and uh, as I said, we never eat alone. I'm bringing this kid's uh, ribs back home, and uh, we're going to we're going to buy his ribs back in South Africa, and we're going to eat as a team. Is there any difference when you fight in South Africa? outside of South Africa? Um, you know, obviously the difference is, uh, you know, I have a very big following in South Africa. 
you know, we're still building up a, a decent, nice name here in Tanzania. So that's the biggest difference is just the crowd, you know. Obviously, when I fight back home, everybody loves to watch me fight. But, you know, I'm getting quite a nice following here in Tanzania. And, uh, you know, the people love me. And I actually prefer to fight in Tanzania, you know. The pressure isn't on me. The pressure is on my opponent. And so it's nice for me to fight in Tanzania. It's nice for me to, you know, bring a little bit of South Africa to Tanzania and uh, make the people in South Africa and make the people in Tanzania my own, you know. Uh, I have a Tanzanian boxing license, so I actually represent this country when I fight, you know. And so for me, that's a big blessing. Thank you.